All right, so the, the gravity blast takes a great deal of technique, and uh, we're going to talk about the snare technique for the gravity blast, and everything else kind of just falls into place on the drum set. That's why I've got the snare away from the drum set right now, is just to show you this technique uh, on how to, uh, to play the gravity blast. It's the ultimate element. Um, if you don't know what a gravity blast is, it's probably the fastest thing in drumming ever. It's everything going at 100%, including your snare, using one hand. Um, the technique involves a fulcrum. What you're going to do is you're going to find the fulcrum like you do with any time that you're picking up the drumstick and getting ready to play. You find the good balance point, and then you're going to rest the stick on the rim right here, um, keeping it about, I'd say, an inch to a half an inch away from your thumb. That's where the impact point is uh, on your stick. Now, all you're going to do for the, for the motion is a crank down and up again, over and over again, down and up. Um, you're going to bring, you're going to leave the stick at a pretty parallel position, uh, parallel to the ground or to your snare, and drop it so that it it strikes the snare, but your fingers push past the fulcrum, lifting the stick up in the air. You know, you see how I've pushed down after the impact. There you are, the stick is up in the air, ready for a second strike. When you pull up, your stick is going to drop back down on the snare again. Like that. That is the motion of the gravity technique on the snare. That's all there is to it, really. Now, when you speed it up and to try and keep it in time, that's the tricky part. You're just going to have to maintain thinking about that cranking motion with your hand. Uh, cranking up and down past the fulcrum. You're going to take your hand down past the fulcrum of the snare and uh, keep that at a consistent speed. And remember, you've also got to count notes and beats. So you've got to keep this in within measure and within time. So I'm going to show you how to do it slow again. Now for the gravity blast speed, you know, you're just doing the same cranking motion only quicker. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to show a, a really cool thing I'm very excited about. Um, I'm going to teach my dad how to do the gravity blast technique. He's not a drummer at all. He's actually an industrial electrician. <laughs> so, we'll see what we can do with this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna teach you how to do a gravity blast. Hey, I'm uh, Steve. I'm Josh's dad or something. Alright, Dad. So, here's what you're gonna do. You're going to take the uh, fulcrum of the stick, find the fulcrum, which means it's like you've got a pretty comfortable bounce. Put, put your stick on the edge of the snare, like this. Well, you there you go, that's the, that's the motion. I get further down past the fulcrum. Hold on just a second, wash my hand. There you go! Okay, there you have it. My dad, an industrial electrician and wonderful fellow, just did a gravity blast. <laughs> So All right. uh, there you go, <laughs> or, or gravity blast technique. He's got a little little ways to go before he gets to the blast. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.